Yo everyone, welcome to Susan Git. We hope you guys are doing well, having a great time. So today we are here with another exciting opportunity and this time this is not a single opportunity. It is from New Zealand but a full bunch of opportunities from New Zealand. So if you are new to our channel, kindly consider subscribing to our channel. Do hit the bell icon as well so that you don't miss any of the upcoming updates. So without any delay, let's just talk about today's opportunity. It's called New Zealand Scholarships 2022 without IELTS requirement. So we are talking in this, in this video, we'll be discussing the universities and the scholarships which you can get for masters phd and undergraduate without ielts requirements so new zealand is unlike any other country so we brought new zealand scholarships 2022 thus applicants are open including university that do not require ielts so i would recommend you to read and understand all the scenario before before choosing a university and applying to a university so if you talk about list of new zealand scholarships uh 2022 without alice what will be covered under these scholarships full tuition living allowance and establishment allowance medical insurance airfare tickets and travel insurance as well so at first we have university of auckland adb scholarship in new zealand we are supposed to click on this link and when we click on this link we'll come up about the details about the scholarship program whatever they require what's their eligibility criteria we'll dig into this um, after that, uh, we have on the second number, University of Waikato International Excellence Scholarship. So this scholarship is for bachelor's, master's and PhD degree. For more information, you are supposed to click here. On third, we have Tongara Scholarship at Victoria University of Wellington, which offers bachelor's, master's and by research or master's degree by coursework in any subjects. For details, just click on the link. So we have Lincoln University International taught master's merit scholarship. Details, click on this link. So. If we go down, we have University of Auckland. For details, we are supposed to click on this link. We have other sort of fundings like Centenary GMAC uh, Trust Fund, Commonwealth Scholarship and Fellowship Plan, Helen Macklin Brown Bursaries, U.S. College of Engineering International Scholarship, uh, UC Product uh, Design Scholarship, and so many much scholarships. So universities without IELTS requirement in New Zealand Scholarships 2022. Here are some of the top universities in New Zealand where students without IELTS can apply to study. You can also look at their rankings. So this is the University of Auckland Centenary in which we have already, I think, opened up all the tabs. We'll be checking out the details about these universities as well. And now we have best universities to study in uh, New Zealand without IELTS. So these are the universities. So basically what uh, I would like you to guys to understand before digging into the process um, if a university is not requiring IELTS, it is requiring something else instead. For example, it will require English language proficiency certificate. What's that? We'll have uh, provided a link. You're supposed to click on this and how you can get one. So uh, they might require English language proficiency. If they are not even requiring this certificate, they would want you to take an admission for an English language course as first in, it, in which it is really easy uh, to get admission but the thing is you have to pay for that course it is not on scholarship mostly but once you clear that course in that university in that country then you can apply to the masters and graduate programs uh, and then you can also apply to scholarships so these are the two things which i would like you guys to understand and perfectly work on them so on first we have asian development bank if you go to our channel i think we have made different videos like for example if you just go right here and write down asian right and just click on enter you'll see as you can see asian development bank asian institute of technology so we have made different videos on these uh, scholarships we'll be going thoroughly through this uh, through these scholarships but uh, in details i would recommend you to go to our channel and check out the video whatever video uh, it is related to asian development bank or any other scholarship so for example we have adb scholarship this is the general information this is what it covers this is the eligibility criteria you are supposed to be uh, a national of ADB employing member state. This is the list of the countries right here, I think. But this is the Japan scholarship program. This is from Japan. This is not a Japan uh, scholarship program. It is from Asian Development Bank. And Asian Development Bank funds students to different countries, including New Zealand and Japan. So this is the eligibility criteria. This is the ineligibility criteria. This is the required document. These are the application forms you're supposed to uh, kind of find out and apply. But they, this scholarship requires IELTS, uh, not the university, but uh, this 
scholarship requires are less. All of, of the above the documents uh, are supposed to be posted and received by the University of Auckland no later than 19th of July. So this is the address by post and by uh, an uh, electronic submission you are supposed to go with it. So if we go with University of Record to uh, Excellent Scholarships Accepting Application, as you can see, it's green. So you guys can apply. This is eligibility. These are the next steps. You can just kind of go next steps on apply now and go on with the process. If you guys want us to make videos on one and every scholarship, for example, week or two, and it is missing in our uh, channel, do let us know in the comment sections below. We'll be making video detailed video about only about week or two international excellence scholarship. Same goes with the Tonga Valley scholarship. This is the description, eligibility, application process. So everything is right here in front of you. What you have to do is work really hard to get a scholarship. This is the Lincoln University scholarship. These are the programs they are offering. These are the amounts they are giving. As you can see, New Zealand 10,000 applying to the following program. So, so many different things. If you guys want us to make different videos on each and every scholarship, uh, like for example, Vikatu, Tongara, Lincoln, Vikatu. So do let us know in the comment sections below. And if there is still any doubt, questions or difficulties, do contact us. And I wish you guys all the very best. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.